So fructose 6 phosphate is transformed into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate and it is a very important step in the glycolysis. This reaction is catalyzed by phosphofructokinase 1 or you can say PFK1 with the help of ATP and Mg2+. Now this regulatory step is very important in case of glycolysis. So why it is so important because PFK play a very important role in the regulations of the glycolysis. PFK1 is a allosteric enzyme. It has active site and it also has the allosteric site. There are certain allosteric inhibitor and activator binds with the allosteric site leads to some conformational change in the enzyme. Now first of all we have to understand there are two states the, of the allosteric enzyme like R state or relaxed state on the other side T state or TEN state. R state also active state or T state, TEN state uh, in the inactive, you can say inactive state. So when allosteric inhibitor, suppose, so when allosteric inhibitor, when allosteric inhibitor binds with the allosteric site of the enzyme, it leads to some conformational change that is called you can say TEN state or T state or inactive state of the enzyme. In this state, the enzyme does not bind with the substrate. The active site does not bind the, with the substrate. So there is no product in the case of T state. So T state is an inactive state. In this state, enzyme unable to bind with the desired sub substrate. On the other hand, it is, it is called as a R state or relaxed state or you can say active state. In this state when allosteric activator binds with these particular types of allosteric site it, it facilitates some conformational change that is why the substrate uh, the substrate binds with that active site of the enzyme and finally the product form. So PFK1 has uh, these two types of uh, uh, state through which uh, it regulate the process in the formation of fructose 6 phosphate to fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. So, what are the uh, allosteric inhibitors of the fructose uh, phosphofructokinase 1? ATP, ATP, citrate, low pH, and PEP means phosphoenol pyruvate. Inhibit the, the activity of phosphofructokinase 1. So these four molecules like ATP, citrate, low pH and phosphoenol pyruvate inhibit the function of phosphofructokinase 1. On the other hand, AMP, ADP, fructose 26 bisphosphate activate phosphofructokinase 1. So AMP, ADP and Phos uh, fructose 26 bisphosphate activate the function activate the enzyme phosphofructokinase 1 in the active in the active site of pfk1 uh, positively charged amino acid called arginine is present this arginine interact with the positive the negative charge phosphate of Phosphofructose uh, 6-phosphate and form the product. So in the case of normal condition, when activator binds with the allosteric site of the enzyme, but when inhibitors bind with the allosteric site of the enzyme, this arginine replaced with glutamate, and glutamate does not interact with the negatively charged phosphate of the fructose 6 phosphate so there is no formation of the product fructose 2 6 bisphosphate that is why the inhibitors 
inhibitors inhibit the function of PFK1. So what is the role of PFK1? PFK1 transfer the gamma phosphate of ATP to the product that is fructose 6-phosphate and, uh, and ultimately fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is formed. So you can say fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is formed. Now there is certain uh, inhibitors and allosteric activators of the phosphofructokinase 1. 